working on my skills. Awesome, maybe there's two of them. No, that's his name, it's really bad. I, I, I was... So I'm going to light my fire. Stuff should take a spark almost immediately. Got some powdery duff and a little bit of pine needles. See if I can get this going. So I'm out here with Malcolm and he showed me this is his favorite wild edible it's called Indian cucumber and what you do is you got to carefully dig the tuber the root and when I mean carefully you got to be really gentle so I like to use a stick let's see if I can get you guys a good view all right so I use a stick to just kind of gently get around the root, you know, go around the stem. But eventually, the tuber is going to be growing in one direction. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I see it. It's pointing that way. So once I see its direction, let me show you guys. So see it down here? Once you get the direction it's going in, fairly easy to just snuggle it out. And these mature ones, if you notice they've got like a double top um, with a little small flower. So that's a really good way to identify them. Malcolm is telling me that there's another version out here that's uh, poisonous. So you got to really make sure um, that you identify these right. Um, we definitely have a Peterson's handbook that we've been uh, using just to make sure. And usually when you're digging them down, there's like this long stringy portion of the root is usually pointing in the opposite direction of this actual big tuber. Pretty good one. You can see what I was talking about. It's got this feathery Kind of like end root and then the tuber and also um there's so many of it out here right now it's probably the prime season for it but again like everything i'm taking two from one area moving to the next area taking two more so this way you know you don't kill a population
vitamins. Vitamins. Fiber. Get it out of your help get out of your system. going. What are you cooking? I'm making more venison stew. But we're substituting the carrots for Indian cucumber. Anybody for a deer kebab? melts in your mouth. Man, it's good. Shout out to Dave Oliveira. Thanks a lot for the venison, brother. All right, guys, of course it started raining. Uh, I gotta get back. Malcolm's staying. Mitch is staying. Of course, I gotta go. But it was a great day. Um, again, that venison stew is unbelievable. Uh, that one, we didn't use carrots. Instead, we supplemented it, the carrots, with uh, the Indian cucumber, which was abundant out here. Um, so it's the second week of June and it seems like the edible, wild edible of the day was uh, that Indian cucumber. And again, tasted a cross between melon and a cucumber. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like it, share it, and comment below. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.